This is Darius from therabbitpad.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom date formats in Google Sheets. Please make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified when I publish videos in the future. In a previous video, I showed you how to use different date formats based on a list that is already in Google Sheets, but what if the date format that you want to use is not there? This is how you do that. The first thing that you want to do is highlight all of the dates that you would like to change and then click format, click number, and then go down to where it says custom date and time. As in the previous video, you have several different formats already there, but if the one that you do not like is there, you can go up here to this box and change the order of how you want things to appear. So let's say I want to have a day, month, and year format. So day slash month slash year. What you do is you delete all of the information that is there, and then you click on this arrow to put it in the order that you would like it to be. So I click on the arrow and I'm going to start with my day. So I'm going to click day and then I'm going to put a slash there, or if you prefer a dash, you can do that. Then I'm going to select month and then I'm going to select year at the end. And if you want the day to appear as a number or have a zero in front of it or have the full day, you can click the up and down arrow and change that. And let's suppose I want my year to be a full numeric year. I will select that. So instead of having 30 as in 1930, I will have full 1930. And then you can do that same thing with the month. You can change it to be one number. You can change it to be zero in that number if it's January through September, or you can have different ways of showing the month. After I've selected the way I want things to appear, then you select apply. And now all of my dates are in day slash month slash year format. So if I want to use that format again in the future, all I have to do now is click format, click number, and it will appear as an option here. And if it does not, then select custom date and time, and it will appear in the menu because you created it there. The only weird thing is that Google does not allow you to remove any custom date and time format. So once it's there, it's on this list forever. So that is how you create your own custom date and time formats in Google Sheets. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel to see more helpful tips in the future. Also, please be sure to visit my website at therabbitpad.com.